Hey guys, how are things going? No, I'm Jay77 here, talking about some trailers I saw um, a few days back. Uh, originally, I was supposed to post them up on Saturday, but uh, unfortunately, I was preparing for the storm, so I never really got a chance to. So I'm going to do it now, um, and um, let's not waste any time. The first trailer I saw um, was Johnny English 2. What a surprise, they made a sequel. Um, a, from what I gathered from this trailer, um, he was in the hyenas for a few years, went to a monastery, um, and now MI6 went him back to do an assignment. What's that assi what this assignment is? It really didn't give too much description, but neither to say that he's been placed on charge, but with a very short leech. Um, the, the, his new boss, not really caring to him, um, for what I, for, from what I'm gathering, um, he, uh, made the agency a laughing stock, and she re flat out refused to let it, um, happen again. Um, that is pretty much the premises of, um, what they're going by. Um, and hijinks and shoes, he, he's doing the same, pretty much the same thing in the first one. Only from what I see in this trailer, I gotta say, I'm, I'm actually impressed. I'm actually, uh, was, I'm smiling at some of the stuff he was doing. Um, some of the stuff was kind of funny. The others, um, pretty much... Awesome powers like I mean there was actually a, a scene where he uh, beats up the old lady that's pretty much came right off the awesome powers um, there were actually something for crochets um, pretty much predictable scenes that um, that you can normally find in any other um, spoof comedy um, particularly within the um, Mike Myers um, range but overall this looks very very interesting I'm, I'm I must say that I'm actually uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this one. I was not a big fan of the first one. Um, mind you, I do like the actor. I, I think he's kind of he's funny. Um, I loved him in Mr. Beans. Hated the movie though. I did not like the movies at all. I didn't like the first one, and I damn sure didn't like the um, the holidays, um, the Christmas one he did. But um, overall, I think he's a fun act, uh, fun um, actor. I think he's a, a, a funny um, um, comedian, um, and I think this film will. It's going to um, show some of his best work. Mind you, um, I think, and this is my honest opinion, I think the um, UK will embrace this film more than the US. I think that his comedy, if you're not used to um, UK style comedy, because UK comedy um, is very, very different, at least in my opinion. They're very, very different, and they have a very different style towards we, what we are used to in the United States. So if you're not used to seeing... Um, Seeing his work like Mr. Bean's um, or being Benny Hills for that matter, you may not get some of the stuff he's saying. So I think that um, it's going to be a toss up when this film comes out. Um, whether the fans of this, uh, at least from the U.S., going to embrace it than those overseas. But um, overall, I was impressed by it. I actually thought it was kind of uh, cool. Um, next trailer I saw, I finally got a chance to see the teaser for the album in the Checkmarks 3. Um, I think they call it Shipwreck, but with a different name to it to make it, you know, sound funny. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't care for the first one. Second one, I was, uh, alright, it was, it was fine. It's, it's, a, it's a kid's film, what can I tell you? Um, this one, uh, I really can't really make much of it. I mean, from what I understand, he's in a boat. That's all I can say. Um, um, they look like they kept with the animation, um, and I just think, again, with this film, I think it's just going to be more, kids going to like this more, and die-hard fans going to like this more than the average film goer. Um, the film made money, so I, I was a little surprised. Every time I think this film's going to fail, um, people constantly see it, so they're doing something right, so... That's the one thing I can tell you about that. Um, but, no, it definitely looks uh, interesting. It definitely looks good. Uh, for a kid's perspective, parents, you, you, you're just going to... If you can, if you embrace the first two and sat through the film, and if you're a Chickmunk, um, Albert Chickmunk fan, a diehard that is, you probably would, um, would like it more. Some will just have to sit through it. That's just how it is. Uh, but, you know, the thing I'm going to be curious is, is... The 3D. I think the 3D is going to be more reluctant for audiences to go back, especially the way um, 3D has been done in the last two years. But that this all depends on the moviegoers. Um, the one I did look that I'm a little bit interested in how this is going to pan out because um, of the series in general, Underworld. Um, the third Underworld movie has been com the fourth. I'm sorry, Underworld Four is done. Um, I've seen the trailer. Um, I have mixed feelings, just like I had with the other ones. Um, I will say this: the good thing is they're continuing where the where the second one left off a bit. Um, 
this is more of a futuristic one. And you can tell it's a futuristic one just by the way it looks. And from what I gathered in this trailer is that he is, she is facing um, vampire hunters. Um, she's facing the humans. Um, it's not the, not the werewolves anymore. It's the humans. She's not facing that kind. She's not facing the werewolves kind. It's basically now her and it was the humans. That doesn't necessarily mean that she still has problems with the likings. That's the, that, that hasn't changed much from what I, what I gathered. I l was very, very impressed by some of the, from some of the, um, action sequences they show in the trailer. But most importantly, I was impressed by the ending of the trailer. Um, it does look like uh, she's going to be having a lot... Um, on a plate because um, in the end you, you see this big giant wolf looking I don't know what the hell that was but it definitely got me you know, pumped up um the mix the other bad side of it I'd say the bad side of the coin I I don't know it's I don't the structure of the story looks mediocre at best it doesn't look like they did too much with the story arc and that could be a turn off for some and not so much for others. It all depends on what you're looking for in this movie. Um, what I'm curious about is are they going to put all the films, including the prequel, which, um, you know, one, two, and the prequel, all in full circle to make this film? Or is this film going to be a standalone sequel where it really doesn't have much to do with the, um, the, original, with the original three? If that's the case, I'm curious on why they made Rise of the Liking. Even though I thought Rise of the Liking was a pretty okay film, I actually was interested in how all the, how that you know, whole thing um, came to came to pass. But um, one does wonder: Are they gonna connect all the films um, to this film, or are they just gonna just go a different direction? We'll wait and see. Um, well, that's pretty much it. That's all the trailers I've saw. Um, there was one trailer I did see, but I'm not too sure it's real, and that's why I'm not going to comment on it, um, and that's Jeepers Keepers, um, uh, I'm sorry, Jeepers Creepers 3. I have seen a trailer, but I am not too confident on this trailer. There's been a lot of fake trailers on Jeepers Creepers lately. I have been keeping an eye on this film for a while. Um, from what I gathered, there was in the works of making it, but for some reason they stopped and they went back then it had a release date and then it never came out so um i don't know what's going on with that movie um it made money so it definitely he definitely wants to do a third one the same director that the other two it's just a matter of when and if it's ever going to come out on on uh on theaters or just on video so um as far as the trailer concerned i can't consider that as a real trailer um there were some scenes i actually recognized from some other movie i i just can't pinpoint what it is but that's the only reason why i'm not going to comment on it until i actually see a legit trailer out there until then i'm not going to say anything about it but until then um that is the only trailer i'm not going to talk about um the other ones were real the other ones were authentic i seen it in theaters when i finally saw the help and yeah i will be commenting on the help um, I just got to get the time to do the video, but I will not give you my own two cents of it. Needless to say, <laughs> it was worth the it was worth the money. I tell you that it really was worth it. My only regret I didn't see it sooner, but then again, um, with the way the theaters has with the way the theaters and how they was marketing this the marketing this movie, it took me some time to get to a theater that was actually on my price range, and um, I can actually see it without any problem. Needless to say, I'm very happy that this film is doing very, very well. I'm very, very proud of this movie. Um, and it deserves it. It's this, this had a very great cast. Um, but I'll talk about that some other time. Until then, um, you guys take care, um, and I'll talk to you soon.